Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build AI agents with Stencil from idea to implementation. We will build a customer support agent which can help with the weather forecast, meeting scheduling, and even database analytics. By the end, you will not only understand the architecture, but you will also be able to get the code from our GitHub source. And so you, you can run the code yourself. First, let's see what we will get. Here, I'm going to demo a couple of capabilities for the agent we're going to build. We will end up with the web, uh, this web interface. First, let's try the query. What is the weather in San Francisco? So, so the agent will fetch the weather API results and show you the correct weather uh, currently. And then the second query is uh, help me to schedule a meeting. So the AI agent detects it is a meeting uh, intent query. It will show this meeting uh, URL. So long as you set this URL correctly, it, the user should be able to set up a meeting. Um, finally, we're going to demonstrate some product related queries. Show me the top 10 customers uh, in total spending. So here we have a product a database which consists of customers, um, products, and the orders. So here, um, this uh, query needed to the top spending customers. If you wanted to dive deep, deeper to see, for example, um, what are the product Michelle bought. So it will scan the, um, basically convert the natural language query to a SQL statement and then run the SQL command against the database and give you the final results. So this offers the business insight um, for, um, from the capability of this agent. Let's go back to the slide. A quick intro, I'm Zheng from Denso AI. We specialize in AI agents for customer support and knowledge management, but we also believe in empowering developers to create their own um, agent app. That's why we are sharing this open source project so you can build a powerful agent by yourself. Here, we are building what we are building today, first, a weather agent that gives real-time forecast and alert. Secondly, a meeting agent that schedule appointment instantly. And third, a database analytic agent that connects to a real database and generate visual reports. Everything is open source, so you can follow along, tweak it, and make it your own. So, what is an AI agent? Think of it as a smart assistant that can use tools to get things done. This agent takes a user request, or use a large language model to figure out which tools to call, and then run those tools and then format the final results. It is the decision making plus action taking that makes the agent so powerful. Our agents use something called the Model Context Protocol, or MCP. This is a standard way to connect AI models with tools and data source securely. It helps to discovering the available tools and also keep the, it is a standard that it keeps the consistent interface so that it makes it super easy to add new tools and capabilities. Here is a quick example to show how a weather tool is defined in JSON. You have the tool's name, get weather, you have the description of this tool, and also you specify an argument which is the city name to get the weather from. Here is the big picture. Our web interface talk to an agent app builder with faster API. The app uses a large language model, in this case, Anthropic Cloud, and calls MCP tools to get real work done. We designed to be simple. 
and extensible, so you can swap components without breaking the whole system. This is how the repository is organized. We have the agent directory, which contains the agent code and the web UI. Here we only have the custom support agent, which is capable of those three or three tools, which is defined under the tools directory, database, meeting, and the weather. And the JSON configuration files configs all these uh, uh, settings, like MCP um, dot JSON, which is here, configs the MCP tools. The config dot JSON configs the uh, configuration for this uh, custom support agent. The goal is to keep things easy to navigate so you can find what you need quickly. The weather tool can give current weather conditions and the also show forecast and send alerts to severe uh, weather. So you can try some sample queries like what is the weather in San Francisco? Give me a three-day forecast to Tokyo. Um, the weather API uses the open weather map API, but it also has a simulated mode for testing. When a user asks about the weather, it calls the API, process the data, and send back to a clear, friendly answers. The meeting tool is super lightweight. You give it your booking link once, and whenever a user says schedule a meeting, it returns the link instantly. So you can it can handle queries such as schedule a meeting with me, I need to book a call. The data, database tool connects to a Postgres SQL and uses a sample data, data set with customers, products, and orders. Specifically, it will randomly generate 50 customers, 10 products, and 20, 200 orders for the experimentation. So, user can try some queries like show top customers by total spending, what are the most popular products, this kind of query. Uh, the workflow is going to take the user's query and uh, um, the large language model decide whether it's using the um, database tool and also convert the natural language to the SQL statement, write against the database and generate the results. And also in addition, automatically generate the charts, which makes data insights look great in conversations. Each tool runs as its own as a small MCP tool, the agent talks to them via HTTP protocol. The, the slash MCP tools is to discover what tools are available. Slash MCP slash call tool actually is runs the, the tool individually. And finally, the slash health is to check if any tool is up. This makes the whole system modular. You can add or replace tools without touching the call. Agent configuration. All the setup is done in the JSON config files. You choose, you choose the agent type, the large language model provider, and which MCP servers to connect it to it. All this, all this definition of this different components are, are, are put it here. Want to, if you need a new tool, just point to it in the configuration file. No need to rewrite the core code. Set up is very quick. Start the database, and then launch the server and run the app. And then you will end it up with the web interface to test the agent, something like this one. First, let's try the query. What is the weather in San Francisco? So, so the agent will fetch the weather API results and show you the correct weather uh, currently. And then the second query is, uh, help me to schedule a meeting. So the AI agent detect it is a meeting uh, intent query. It will show this meeting uh, URL. So long as you set this URL correctly, it, the user should be able to set up a meeting. Um, 
Finally, we're going to demonstrate some product related queries. Show me the top 10 customers uh, in total spending. So here we have a product a database which consists of customers, um, products, and the orders. So here, um, this uh, query needed to the top spending customers. If you wanted to dive deep, deeper to see, for example, um, what are the product measure board. So it will scan the, um, basically convert the natural language query to a SQL statement and run the SQL command against the database and give you the final results. So this offers the business insight um, for, um, from the capability of this agent. To wrap it up, the Denso agent is built on three, two key ideas, simple and clean, minimal dependencies, clear architecture. Also, it is extensible. It is very easy to add new tools and capabilities. If you want to keep it learning, follow up on your YouTube channel and thanks for watching.